This video series is presented by Drum Tech, R Drums and Blech King. Welcome to the Acoustic to E Drums conversion series. This and the following videos are about the conversion process of a Pearl Rhythm Travel Up into an E Drum Kit. The reason why we chose a Pearl Rhythm Traveler kit are the diameters of the shells. This drum kit provides shells and diameter of a conventional drum kit. An acoustic kit with deep shells would take too much space, especially the kick drum. Electronic drums are usually used in flats and apartments with limited room sizes. Therefore, it is the best solution to use such a Rhythm Traveler for this project. It will feel like playing a real acoustic kit, but only take a small space. This kit is second-hand and in an average condition. The wrapping is blurred and the rims are rusty and dirty. We managed to get an additional 12-inch pad from the same type of drum kit as well. So the finished kit will turn out as a six-piece kit. The heart of the kit is the bass drum. It is small but really steady. The snare has a diameter of only 13 inches, which is perfect, as the E symbols will not appear to be too small in relation to the snare. All shells except of the bass and snare are open, so there is no need to drill holes for a jack plug into the toms. We disassemble the kit into its pieces starting by removing rims and heads. It is always good to use a box or a case for screws and other small parts. The lugs need to be removed as well, because all shells will get a new wrapping. An electric screwdriver is recommended, as there are hundreds of screws that need to be removed. The tom rosettes will not be used anymore. Instead, we decided to use Gibraltar clamps. The snare does not need a snare wire and fitting anymore. Like Tom Rosettes, we will not reuse them for this project. The shell wood is in a decent condition. One rim claw of the kick drum is missing. Luckily, we can order claws and screws online, which is one of the big advantages of Pearl Gear. The legs are easily removable. All lugs have a little plastic piece inside. We remove them to be able to remove the winding bolts. And according to the other pads, the bass drum will not keep its reset. Most chrome parts are not rusty, but still dirty and need to be polished. The first step is done. All the parts you can see here will be reused for the project, after cleaning and reworking. All of the resets and snare fittings were given away for free. Someone might use them as spare parts. Some heads are in good and some in bad condition. A few of them are definitely good enough for rehearsal kits. We managed to sell them for a really small amount. That's it for this episode. If you're curious to see the end result, check out the upcoming videos of our conversion project. Thanks for watching and see you at the next episode. Click the left box to see a video about the Easy Drummer 2 setup. Click the box in the middle for a video about the Drum Tech Trigger Tube. Or click the right box to see part 2 of the conversion series.